Okay guys, I'm back with episode 6 of Let's Play Need for Speed World, and we're going to be doing the treasure hunt. I've been waiting all freaking day to do it. <sighs> you guys see, it's like almost 10 o'clock. It's like 6 to 7 to, well, 8 to actually, but you know. So, here we are. Let's go. Or the volume, because again, it's only... Most time, so my mom's still sleeping. So, basically, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna do the treasure hunt, obviously, and I'm gonna do a couple of races, but first, I gotta teleport to where the treasure hunt is taking place. I don't know exactly, um, how long this will take me guys, so if I have to do two parts, I apologize, but I will do the treasure hunt full. Um, while I'm doing this, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about the computer I won, because you guys have been asking me a couple questions on how it runs and all that. So first I'm going to talk about the problems I've had with it, because there's not that many, honestly. Considering it's still very new to the world, um, Windows 8 doesn't have as many problems as I thought it would. Um, but one of the problems with my computer in particular, not just with Windows 8, but my computer, is basically <clears throat> that... It, 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 like if I have Windows Media Player like with music obviously or whatever as long as it's playing something and I have this on too or that with anything else that's a game that like Need Speed Shifts 2 Need Speed World any game GT Racing 2 it does actually shut down my computer after like 20 minutes 30 minutes of it being played so I really get annoyed by that so you know, if you guys know what the problem is, definitely let me know. But I'm supposed to go to Best Buy. I don't know if I'll bring it with me to get that checked out. Because I believe I have tech maintenance uh, under my warranty, obviously, you know. And I might be able to get another one of these. Um, and if it comes in the box, it'll be better because I'm just doing an unboxing um, and review of the computer and, you know, how it looks. Um... As far as, like, the computer's weight, it's actually really light compared to other computers of its size. Now, it is a pretty small computer, I believe. It's smaller than the mo than regular. Oh, sorry, guys. So, that being said, when you have to do something on it, it really does not take up that much space. Um, like, for instance, if I have to type something up, it's very lightweight, the computer, so, you know, if I have to, say, let's say, type it from in one room and then print it in another room, but I don't want to have to, like, I don't have a wireless printer. It's very lightweight to actually, like, not be portable, but, you know, to mobilize in a way. Wait, which way is... Yeah, it'd be easier going around. So I actually got to turn on something. Sorry, guys. I just realized that I don't have it on. Um, okay, that's kind of weird. Why isn't there a sound with my? That's kind of weird. I don't know exactly why it's doing that, but if it is. <sighs> so, that is very weird. I don't know what to do. I'm just, uh, you know, going nuts. But, uh, anyways, back to the computer. <laughs> so, the overall problems of the computer are that it shuts down when you play a game and listen to music at the same time. Which could be a malfunction of the computer, um, because I believe there was a recall of the set of the HP MV H8 1414s, or another model of the HP MV H8s. Um, and that being said, I do take into, uh, like I take precautions when like 
looking at this because the only issue is I know I did I, I don't have like a real warranty, but it comes with the computer, right? By law, not by law, but you know most computers, and even though I won the computer, it did come with a warranty. I did not actually expect that. Now I believe that if you had to buy the computer, it would cost additional like money. I don't know because I've never had to. I haven't bought a computer in so freaking long. Um, when my mom bought her laptop, she had to pay extra. That's another reason. Why? Sorry, guys. Why? Uh, I'm mentioning that. So it's kind of a bummer, you know, when you have to pay extra just to be able to, you know, have service done on your laptop or computer, like your PC. Um. Now, again, if you go to Mac. To, to convert to a Mac, it's a totally different story, because all their prices come with uh, warranty plans of, I believe, two years, my friend said. I don't know if it's true, but, like, I haven't checked, and I don't care to mention that. So, basically, sorry guys at the end there, again. Because I'm super freaking tired. I'm supposed to go to Best Buy at around 10 30, 11 o'clock. Most likely 11 because I'm making a bit. I'm going to turn around, don't I? Oh, no, I don't. No, I don't. Um, so, another issue I've had with this computer is after installing only a few things, it started to slow me down a lot. I don't know if it's just the way the RAM is set up um, according to the settings of the computer. But it does slow down after a little bit of, you know, whatever. Oh, sorry guys, I'm really tired. So that kind of sucks. I don't really enjoy the fact that, you know, I got to really, like, be slowed down just because I have a couple things on my computer. But then again, you know, it's a computer. Computers have always, te like, typically done that. Um, I can't imagine a computer that doesn't slow down after having some things on it. Now, typically, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because that's something you've typically found as a problem with older computers. From computers that handled Windows XP to Windows Vista. Now, Microsoft, I know, has done some bug fixes, which definitely have helped my computer in the update. Uh, some, uh, to 8.1.2. And as far as that goes, I really can't complain about the update because the update has added quite a few things that I like and other things that I just haven't found out what they are. So I will probably do research to find out what every um, new feature is of Windows 8.1.2. Um, now, problem three. Not uh, well, not necessarily a problem. It doesn't heat up. It doesn't heat up. So if you have your computer running, I think the reason why it it shuts down is because it's too cold and that's something again it shut down on me and thank god i have word like office online so it saves automatically otherwise i was typing documents for school guys for my essays for like the last week of school and it shut down on me so many times because of the fact that it probably well i'm assuming it's because it does not heat up at all the fans circulate too much, so there's no way of actually turning off one of the fans because they're not basically that fan distributes power to the other fans. So it's really like a lose lose situation. You either turn off the fans or it doesn't turn on the computer doesn't work. Or you uh sorry I did on again. <laughs> Or you basically just suffer and have the computer shut off on you um, at random times. And it doesn't warn you, you know, that com your computer is cold or whatever. It just, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> it just, like, shuts down. So, it's kind of a bummer, you know, when you think about it that way. So, 
I don't know, I won't make a video because it'll look like a nut, you know, and I don't have my iPhone with me, but today I'm supposed to get it fixed by one of my friends because she had the same problem, so I'm hoping that she can fix it. If not, I'm typically screwed. I don't care if I have to reinstall everything because, again, every, like, three months, four months, I uninstall everything and keep it fresh, Um, which I've only done that for, like, last year or two that I've had it, and I've had it for almost three years now, three or four. I don't remember when I got it. But, um, you know. I can just remember that I got my iPhone 4 when the 4S was still only on contract. Like, you could not buy it. Um, you had to have it on contract, otherwise you won't have it on all. At all. So a lot of people, like, this is where bragging rights kick in. Lots of people who had the iPhone 4 when I got my iPhone the F4 is what happened before, could brag and say, you know what, well, I, it's not even available out to buy. You have to have it on contract, so, you know, at least I have the newest phone. But nobody does that because nobody is a jerk. And nobody likes people that do that because that's showing off. So, basically, I don't know what I'm going to do. I just... Going not so over the stupid stuff. So I got four gems left. Didn't even realize that I had eleven gems. I thought I only had like five or six. <laughs> See now it's probably gonna shut off. Oh no. Now again another issue that I had with it shutting off is it does not hibernate. It shuts off, like literally shuts down. It doesn't like save your files as like an emergency back, like emergency restore. Whereas if the laptop dies automatically because of the RAM, it saves whatever files you had on your computer if it dies. Uh, with newer computers, XP I think it does that too, I'm not too sure. But, you know. If you guys hear me pause, like muting my mic, it's because I'm yawning. Just so I'm gonna keep saying that sixty times, because I'm gonna probably yawn sixty times. Okay, I don't know if I missed the gem, but I'm gonna have to teleport back to here. I'd rather teleport here because I know there I'll usually always find something. Uh, I'm gonna yawn again. I hope I'm gonna go through where like I would I went through day three. That was a pain in the ass. I could not find the last gem it took me over like an hour and i still couldn't find it but then right the last second i was recording and then ran out of space right after i ran out of space i found it oh that was a nice, nice drift not a nice drift nice uh Okay, so basically, I gotta find out. Okay, where is that part of the? I gotta zoom the hell in there. I can't even see that. So I gotta go. Wait, what street? It is. I don't know where it's. I think that's over here. I don't know. I'm gonna try backing out. I'm gonna see if it gets any much closer. I can turn around. Now, again, eventually I'm hoping that with, I, with uh, Windows 8.3 that Microsoft is going to fix the problems. Or if, you know, today if I bring my computer with me, which I most likely will, um, the fact that it does not heat up is definitely a very big issue for me because, again, it's better than overheating. But it undercools. Or over cool underheats over cools? I don't know how they say it. It underheats. I'll, I'll keep it a ton it underheats. And that's not a term you typically hear. I'm thinking I made the right term. That you know your computer underheats. Wow, your computer really underheated, man. It's cold. Never gonna hear that I can't, my computer. 
Now, I haven't done consumer reviews to see if people have had any issues like this with their PCs. And where the frig do you get that? 